Well, let's see. Well, I'm here, and I'm just waiting for 7 o'clock, and then I will go ahead and get started. I might uh, test these out while I wait. Got these babies. And you have to shake it up. Shake it up. Shake it up. Press it so we can start to let the ink flow. Shake pen, paint mix. Press nib down gently on a piece of scrap paper and hold. And let's hold. Okay. Does look nice and white on this black card stuff. Happy, happy, happy about that. Shaking up the white one. I mean the black one. But I didn't give myself a black scrap of paper. Anybody out there besides me? Let's see. A couple of anonymous people, so hi. I'm going to go ahead and get started then. I was asked to do this class at this particular time by some friends in Cincinnati who we traveled to Adventures in Stamping last weekend, and we had a great time. Um, for me, it's an over, it's an out of town trip because I'm in Kentucky. And my friends are in Cincinnati, and um, I went last month to this convention, Heirloom uh, or Heirloom in Indiana, and the people I went with then suggested I make this book, and in fact, the uh, idea comes from. Pat Pleacher, I need to start recording. So you might hear all this again, because I'm going to need to record it as soon as I figure out how. Okay, so it is recording now. So I went to the, to, um, the heirloom convention last month, and I... Was, it was suggested to me by Pat Pleacher to make a journal. This is not uh, the style that she makes, but this is the style I decided to make. And when I showed it last weekend at Adventures in Stamping, 
one of the ladies was really interested. And so I said I would teach her how to make the book. So I'm going to ask you if you have any questions to type the questions in all caps so that I can see them. Okay, so this is basically a one sheet wonder and we're going to do it today. But um, this was a bigger convention than the heirloom convention. So this is the size I'm going to teach you how to make. This I made out of one sheet of paper because I have a large giant sheet of paper. But you can also make it out of four eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. And I'll show you how to do that. But the first thing I want to do is show some happy mail that I got from Mitzi and I did my very first stream a while ago Mitzi was there and I told Mitzi that I would swap with her um, some napkins and she said you know what do you want and I just said well you know whatever kind of art it is that you do well Mitzi tats and this is a tatted ornament that she made and I think that it is just fabulous. I love it. I love it. I'm going to switch you away from my face because you don't need to watch me to just the desktop. And then we can look at, at how beautiful this is. So, she sent that and she also sent some pieces this rainbow tatting that I intend to use in my art journal. She sent this little envelope with um, a nice note for me in there and it has a tag. Isn't it just cute? I just think that's really cute. And then another tag for me to, to use. Some die cuts. Who couldn't use die cuts? I really like this one. They're kind of stuck together, so I don't want to tear anything. But you can see some of them. Isn't it pretty? Looks like she layered that one. I cut it and layered it. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Thank you, Mitzi. Appreciate that. In a card, a card for me to say thank you. Oh, and there's that die cut. Really pretty. I like that. Thank you. And she shared with me the napkins that she had. Pretty. So again, I want to thank Mitzi for all of these beautiful gifts. I'm going to put that aside. And then talk a little bit about the convention and show you guys what I got. One of the first places I stopped was Darcy's um, Heart and Home and I got this yeah I got this one at the convention and I wanted these two but they weren't in stock at the convention but she um, mailed them to me for free. I paid at the convention and then she mailed them and they, they came today right on time. This one is called But First Tea. And I just love the images in it. They'll be so fun to stamp and watercolor. And this one is called Coffee Donuts Friends. And this one is called Big Thoughts. It's really cute. Um, I'm kind of watching the video as I'm recording this. And is it going in and out black for you guys like it is for me? Because if it is, would you please let me know? Hi, Pauline. I see Pauline has someone has joined. I appreciate that. 
So I got those. Those were my first, my first stop. The others I'm not gonna be able to do in order, but I mean in the order that I stop. But the next ones I'm gonna show you are from Inky Annex, and they're called Artful Devotions. And I plan, if Amazon ever sends it, I ordered a um, a journaling Bible, and it's been out of stock forever. So I'm hoping that they will send it to me at some point. But this one's Artful Devotions. I think that's the line. Yeah, so this one is His Love Endures. And then this one, also from that line, is Memorable Messages. And I could see, you know, favorite verse, what it says, what it means. What it says, what it means, right? Amen, then yes, rejoice. Remember, notes, important, hallelujah, good news. Thankful for rest in this. So those would be really good to stamp in my Bible. And then this one, also from Inky Annex. I love butterflies, and so these, a lot of butterfly. Um, well, this one will be butterfly, and the other ones can be used for other things. And it's called Script Sentiments Number 2 from Inky Annex. The Heartfelt Booth. I have the bigger version of this. Okay, we've lost focus. It'll come back eventually, I hope. Yep. Ornate borders and pockets. And you're going to see that. I used it in the book that we're going to make in a minute on my tabs. And that one stamps, uh, die set makes all of these different. Tabs. So, I will show that later. So, I better put this where I can find it. Put it back over there. The annex. And then, in the Stampers Anonymous booth, I got some, this Dina Wakely stencil, because people were getting it at Target, I mean, at Tuesday morning, but I was not fortunate enough be able to find it but I still wanted it so and then a bunch of Tim's little bitty this is set number 14 played with it a little bit this is these the ones that are in here I'm not going to put them back because I'm going to play with them. This is set 10. And that's what's in set 10. I love that. I love stencils and I especially like when stencils are um, coming up a couple of different sizes because that's way cool. If you are trying to chat with me, you will need to be on the chat tab and not the social stream tab. So, and also if you would put your any questions you have in all caps so that I know you're talking to me. So, there we go. And there is a really long lag for whatever reason for whatever reason hold on the woman I'm teaching the class for is sending me a message she says she's trying to connect so she'll be here in a moment but we can she already saw all of this so I can uh, keep going with showing you what I got at convention I don't know if I did that one. That's the designs that are in that set. And that was set number 13. This is set 12. It has those designs. 
and then I got these because I really well I didn't get them at convention but they came while I was at convention so to me that's convention and I already used one making my brother-in-law's birthday card he is he always sends cards so I definitely do not want to miss sending him a card and if you weren't here I got these the Dilutions paint pens and I had a scrap and the white does show up and that's even it after it dried which is you know really cool so then I went to Impression Obsession and I got this one it's called Sand I got this one it's called Cracked Paint I think Wood Grain I cut the names off already because I'm going to put them in my day journal Crack or Crackle I don't know maybe that's Cracked Paint that's Cracked Paint and the other one's Crackle and this one is Swirls and Stars so. and they're big in case you've never seen them they're their cover card series and they are five and seven fifth five and three quarters by five and three quarters <coughs> excuse me and they are deeply etched they work fabulously in the misty <coughs> excuse me my husband and I were installing something in the wood shavings are tickling my nose and then also from impression obsession in their clearance bin I got this baby for half off of that yeah they don't name theirs they just give you a number the number is F2287 and then there was this one not in a half off bin necessarily Hi, Blissful Crafter. Thanks for joining. No name. Oh, it says Kind Words. With Sympathy. This is a die. And you can see the size of it. A voice given to your wishes become the dreams of your soul. And I got this one for half off of that price. Very excited about that. This one is called Warm Fuzzy Sentiments. And it's just got a bunch of good ones. Like, you're so precious to me. You made my day. Thank you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. I'm so proud of you. And love you. Missing you today. Thank you for all you do. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, darling. You're on my mind. That was so much fun. So you can really use these for lots of things. This was half off, not quite as good a deal as the others, but it will get some love. And then this baby, I wish it was half off, but um, can't you see that in your journal? I'll just kind of hold still for a minute so you can read it. Now I'm using this new software that lets you switch back and forth like Barb Owens does so it may be causing problems and if it is we can do away with it and just have one camera and then rubbernecker now rubbernecker doesn't come to sorry the other conventions that I go to so I was really glad to go to Akron for that this one's called Delia this one's called Gracine. This one's called Andrea. Jadana. Keandra. Uh, so 
something got cut off the name of it, so I can't tell you what the name of it is. You are the peanut to my butter, water to my ocean, glaze on my donut, spring in my step, twinkle in my eye, blue in the sky. Okay, you get it. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. I don't know what that is. Mayana? Yeah, that's, this is what I'm going to say. And Denisa? Harris, and Amy. And the point of the day journal they're going to make is to use all the stuff you buy at the convention. So I'm going to be showing you how to make that shortly. I'm still waiting for Bonnie who requested this class. Otherwise, I'd probably be over watching Zandra's class. This is from Technique Junkies. It's called Afraid to Do. You can only be brave if you try what you're afraid to do. Right. Too many options. I meant to behave, but there were too many other options. The Jazz Singer. I saw a lot of Misty's being sold at convention. They were selling like hotcakes. And that's a great way not to have to pay the shipping. But I also noticed that they were being sold for different prices. So it pays you to walk around from booth to booth if you're going to buy one. Check out the prices. I love this one. I can't remember if I'm the good sister or the evil one. Make that a card for my sister. Failed woman. Paris dreams. It is what it is. Word. That's what my husband always says. Word. Oh no, you didn't. And whatever. Whatever. All of those from Technique Junkies. We are almost done with what I bought. I think this is the last thing from 